So our intelligent capabilities are the aspects of the platform that make life easier for the analyst. For example, a smart data wrangling. This is going to allow the user to easily prepare and manipulate data for analysis without having to go back to IT and request a change. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. In this case, I'm going to bring the data panel to take care of a couple of data issues. First, this column has an X where this column should be numerical only. I need to change it. I can use the data panel to reclassify it. Instead of a string, I need this to be a real. My X disappeared. Now I have a numerical column only, histogram, basic statistics, I'm ready to go. My second column has empty values that I can't use. In this case, I need to fix the issue, use the data panel, empty values detected so I can replace them either with an empty value or some other mathematical aggregation. In this case, I'm going to do an empty value and move on. Now, in this column, I have two names concatenated. I cannot use this data the way it is. I need to split this into two columns. Using the data panel again, automatically Spotify is recognizing that I have the issue. I click on a split columns and it suggests the first option to split the columns. Of course, if this is not the way that you want to do it, you are able to edit these two numbers. For now, I can just click OK and now I have two columns. Other type of uh, quality issues you're going to find, grammar issues or uppercase versus lowercase or little line in between. In, in general, naming convention issues or things like that. You can easily group the categories in this case and fix the problem with a relabel of those uh, rows. So in this case, I can use this name and regroup them so all of them are consistent under the, under the same category. Another type of issue that you will face it with data all the time, when you have, for example, a data table that looks like this with multiple columns, and when you need to actually plot all of these into one trend, one line or something like that to show, for example, the year progress quarter by quarter. So you need to change the format of the table instead of this format where you have multiple columns, you need a longer data table with less columns. You can easily do that with one click of the mark on pivot and then the table automatically is going to be on pivot and ready for you to take a look. So if we add the new columns that we just created automatically from the data panel, we're going to see that now all those columns from the beginning are just one with one single value. So this is way easier to use and to manipulate in a visualization where you can show a trend. Now, some other cases you're going to uh, see outliers. So now you can easily select the outlier and replace the value that you need to replace through the details on demand option. So in this case, right uh, click of the mouse and then click on the replace value option and you can easily replace that 400 for actually 40 because that was the number that I it was supposed to be there. And as soon as I click apply, now I have a clean data set. So that's, those are some of the examples that uh, we can easily do in data wrangling. Now, keep in mind that every single change that we just did is part of what Spotify records automatically with the source information. So every time that I click on some source information, I can see how Spotify automatically is saving all the changes that just happened in terms of data wrangling. So next time that I load this information from the original data sources, for example, all the data points are going to be updated and everything that I just did is going to happen again. So I don't have to do it again until I find an, any new issue with the data. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. I see you next time.